Hello, I'm Ryan and today I will be insulating my cargo trailer. I bought 17 sheets of 1 inch polystyrene foam insulation and I will be taking off all of the walls and installing it in this video. The first thing I'm going to do is remove all of the trim around the trailer so that I can get the wall pieces off. And bam, in a split second, the wall is gone. Just kidding. For you guys it took a split second, but that took me like maybe an hour. And the walls are right there. They will go back up after I slice those and stick them in there. Okay, so what I've done is I've measured between here and there and then drawn it out on the back of the insulation and now I'm cutting a really long strip of it. And then I will pop it in place. One down, 37 to go. It is in there pretty tight. It's gonna hold itself in there. It doesn't need any tape or anything. It's pretty good. Still have quite a ways to go on this wall. And then I have the entire rest of it um so i'll probably just do this wall and then put all the panels back on and maybe start on the front and then do the other wall another day before next week okie doke things are going pretty smoothly i got I'm going to leave this one uninsulated just in case in the future I have to get to those wires that control the brake lights. Um, it shouldn't let in too much heat. But yeah, the wall panels are going up here. Then I'll come back over and insulate on that side. Alrighty. The wall is back on and I put the trim on the bottom back because I am not taking the wall back off there. I left the top off because it kind of goes in front of the one that's on the front. So you need to have that piece of trim off in order to get that piece of trim off. And I'll do the rest probably tomorrow. Um, yeah. It'll be a lot easier to do the rest because the pieces around the door weren't the same size as everything else, so they needed special cuts. Whereas the other ones are all 14 and a half inches by six or seven feet. Some are six feet, like over the wheel wells, and others are seven feet. So, yeah. It only took me like four hours to do one wall and I'm very tired but it's coming along. Alright, I am back at it again on day two and hopefully I get it completely done with insulation. I only have two more walls to go. Alright, I got the wall done on the front. Um, still have the whole left wall to do. Right now I'm working on taking off the trim pieces that are in front of the walls. Yeah. The UPS guy just came with my 132 pound battery 
for my solar system so that'll be an upcoming video for sure it's a big wall that I have left I'll probably eh, maybe another hour or two of cutting boards and punching them into place this is how I've been cutting these I've marked and cut a line all the way the length of the piece of insulation at 14 and a half inches and then I cut it with my razor blade the razor blade part only goes out three quarters of an inch and it's inch thick foam so then what I do is I pick up the piece of foam and I crack it on the line and when I flip it over it folds it on itself and then I can take and trace the next piece and it'll be the same size as the piece that I just cut and then I fold that over until I run out of board and then I start over with a new board all right all the walls have been insulated and in my next video I will be taking the roof the inside ceiling off and putting in my solar panels I'll be getting four of them and I should be getting them in on Monday so sometime next week I will install those